In this video, we will demonstrate administering medication through a peripherally inserted central catheter, which is known as a PICC line, using the SASH method. SASH stands for saline, administer, saline, and heparin. In this process, we will be using alcohol wipes, normal saline flush, the EID or elastomeric infusion device, heparin, and a green curls cap. You will want to have hand sanitizer close by in case your hands or the end of the pick line touches your skin. To begin the process, after following proper hand hygiene as described in your information packet, remove the green curls cap from the end of your central line. Clean the end of the line with an alcohol pad for about 15 seconds. Open the saline syringe and remove the cap. Hold the syringe straight up and push up on the plunger to remove the air bubble, being careful not to push out much of the saline. Connect the syringe to the pick line. Use the push-pause method, which is pushing the solution briskly, pausing for a second and pushing again, with three strong pushes, then pushing the remaining volume into the line. Remove the syringe from the line and clean that line with a new alcohol pad for about 15 seconds. Attach the elastomeric infusion device by removing the small cap. Unclamp the infusion clamp and let the medication infuse for the amount of time indicated on the label. Once the medication has infused, the device will lay flat indicating it is empty. Remove the device and clean the line with a new alcohol pad for about 15 seconds. Open a new saline syringe and remove the cap. Hold the syringe straight up. Push the plunger to remove the air bubble as you did earlier. Connect the syringe to the pick line and use the same push-pause method with three strong pushes and push the remaining volume into the line. Remove the syringe and clean that line with a new alcohol pad for about 15 seconds. Open the heparin syringe, remove the end of the cap, and hold the syringe straight up. But this time pull down on the plunger to break the seal. The seal is very strong. If you push up to break the seal, you will push out all of the solution. So pull down on the plunger, to break the seal, then push up to remove the air bubble. Connect the syringe to the pick line and use the push-pause method again to add the heparin to the line. Finally, add the green curls cap to the end of your pick line Cleaning with the alcohol before the step is not necessary since the green curls cap is filled with alcohol. This completes the process to administer medication through a pick line with the sash method and attaching the EID. All these items can be thrown away in the trash. You do not need a sharps container for any of these items. If you have questions, please contact us at 918-488-6660.